In today's video, I have for you a Goodwill Outlet Bins Haul. Here we go. Hello, you all. Chris and I went back to the bins last week. Again, it's not quite what it's always been. Uh, it's a little stressful. It was less stressful this time because we kind of know the ropes now. Follow the arrows, don't cross lanes, don't go back to a bin. You can skip a bin, but you can't come back. All these rules, wear a mask. Um, they're not requiring gloves. And I think that's all the rules. Okay, so I'm gonna get right to the haul. Um, I did find several items that are for my Thriftmas in July haul. Nicole from Nesting Haven is hosting that. I forget the exact date. I think it's the 29th or 30th. Mm. I don't remember. It's in her Instagram stories and on her community tab, I think. So I'm saving several of the things or really anything I find that's Christmas between now and then for that special haul as part of that collaboration. So I'm going to set the bag of Christmas goodies aside. Okay, um, and if you hear voices, I'm doing this in the evening and the family's here. There's nothing I could do about that. Sorry if you hear family sounds. <laughs> it's just the way it is. We'll start with some Easter items. So Chris found this, but this was really cute. I will either use it for myself for my Easter decor, but you know how many bunnies I have. So I may um, dress it up and sell it in my Etsy shop. Not sure but I don't need to decide that yet because, you know, I have a little time before Easter. Okay, and then I found these. I think they're so cute. They are Takahashi. Am I, am I saying Takahashi? Made in Japan. Okay. I feel like I've heard of that before. But they're these little bunnies. So cute. And so I will keep them for Easter decor or put them in a craft. I don't really know, but I think they're adorable. Maddie is gaming. That's what she's, that's what you're hearing in the background. And then there's this one. Okay. All right. Moving on from Easter. Oh, wait, no, that's not entirely true. I have this springy item. This was so cute. I love this actually. I kind of need to put something, it looks like it's missing something, but you could almost like do something like that and it'd be real cute, you know, and you've got like the nest with the eggs and the bunny and that, look how cute that is. I just love this little thing, you know, cause I go back and forth with my love for farmhouse. Although Nesting Haven just told me about a new aesthetic that's becoming a thing called cottage core. And it's like kind of like fairy, a farmhouse inspired. Kind of cool. I've, I'm reading about it. Thanks, Nicole from Nesting Haven for teaching me something new. So anyway, so that was a good find. I don't remember how much we spent. Chris, do you remember how much we spent at the bins? Chris thinks we spent about $27. 21? 21. 20-ish. 20 something. We really don't know. Over $20, but we got a lot of stuff. So, Okay, so Chris got these and some of them are worth some money. So he is going to sell these on eBay to have comic book money. That's the plan. Can you have those now? Okay, and then I got some more decorative greens. So actually I have this cutie little like turtle. I think it's a turtle planter. I showed it in a haul video like a while back. I love the thing so much but it's too small to really support life. Like I could put a succulent in it but I kind of want him to have like grass coming out of his back. I just think it would be cuter. Um, but I haven't been able to get any to grow because it's just too small and it dries out. So I'm just going to stick this. I'm going to take this out. You can see it kind of pulls out and I'm just going to take a bunch of this and put that in him. And I think that is going to look adorable because it'll look like he has sprouts in his back. It's gonna be so cute. So I didn't, I tried to pull these out at the, at the bins, but I couldn't get them out. And I didn't want to like damage it, break the glass. That would, that would not be good thrifting behavior. So, so I paid for the whole thing. Um, here's the brand, but it's not going to stay like this. It is, some of this is going to come out to go into my little turtle's back. And then these were two separate items, but I've been using them like this. I got this basket, you know, I'm trying to introduce more naturals into my decor for like an element of like modern farmhouse or boho along with my coastal stuff. I don't know. I'm just a myth. I'm a mishmashed gal here, but, um, I really like this basket. 
and I really like how that looks. So I've actually had that up on my uh, mantle for the last few days since we hauled this. And then um, I picked this up. This is how I carted all my uh, treasures home, but it's actually a really nice bag. Now it has like debris in it because I of my, from my things, but like it's collapsible. So I think that's great. So when I'm done with it here, I'm probably gonna keep it in my car to take with me to the bins when I go back. I thought that would be a great idea. All right, I got shipping supplies. I always pick these up when I find them. They're very lightweight, so you barely pay anything for them at the bins. Um, these are probably from the Dollar Tree. I think they are Jot. But, you know, you can put these inside of a poly mailer if you have something small you're mailing and you've got a nice bubble mailer, so. Okay, and then I got this for crafting. I don't know, I know it's random, but I was like, oh, this would be cute in a summer display. It's just a piece of watermelon on a stick. Okay, it's like the State Fair in Minnesota. If any of you are familiar with the State Fair, well, the State Fair has been canceled this year, which is sad, but you know, what are they gonna do? They can't have millions of people in one place. <laughs> that would be very bad uh, for the whole situation. But at the State Fair in Minnesota, you can basically get any food on a stick. And that's what this reminds me of. So I thought that was funny. Okay, and then Chris found this. I think I'm gonna sell this in my live sale. It's really cool, it's just an old percolator, but it has its parts, which is kind of unusual. It's like a, a gold color. I mean, it's definitely been used, like, and what's the brand? Comet, the popular aluminum, and it has like the Starburst, the Comet symbol there, which is so cute and totally cookies looking. And then look, so I just think this is really cute and be great in someone's vintage or retro kitchen decor or if you actually wanted to give it a try and use it I don't know maybe okay and then I always pick up bunt pans there are crafts that I make for my Etsy shop for Christmas time and so this one's great because it's green but so I always pick these up they're really lightweight and great for crafting I will make a video I did one last year and I, I lost the footage never did a video about it that's okay um, I'll do a video about it this year Okay, and then I found this. It's just one, but I thought this was really cute. Probably gonna go in my 4th of July decor. I don't know, I just really like it. It's like a reddish color. It's almost like a copper, but more red than copper. I don't know, I think it's really cute. I did, we looked for the other one, but we couldn't find it. Okay, and then I also got this which is a little more coastal than I usually like, but I don't know, it has all the things I like. Like look at those insulator things and the blue ball glass jars. I don't know, I was like, these are all things I like. So I just propped it on a shelf against the wall, I'm not like hanging it as like a centerpiece in my room, but I just propped it behind a display and it actually looks really cute. And then I was telling Chris, I kind of want to make some of these little lanterns that they've made. So I have extra insulators, I could totally do this or like hang a ball jar that doesn't have a lid and put like sand and a little tea light in it. I think it'd be so cute. Put them out on my deck, that'd be adorable. So I might, I might try that. I don't know, I haven't decided. Okay, and two more, th oh, three more things, three more things. I got this and I haven't looked anything up about it, but I think I'm gonna sell this. I just didn't want it to want to, I, wow. I just didn't want to leave it behind. <laughs> It looks like a like a nice painting. Like, I can't read the artist. It's like tech. I cannot read that. Maybe one of you can read it. Sorry, I was gardening, which is why my fingers are dirty. Um, that's gonna be the constant that I tell you throughout the summer because I don't wear gardening gloves. And so when you garden enough and you wash your hands, sometimes it stops coming off of your skin. That's just the way it is. But anyway, I don't know the artist, but it's an oil painting. So I just thought this was really cool. And look, it's finished really nicely. Like this is not a canvas that someone got at like the Dollar Tree. Like this looks like real deal. I don't know. It seemed like real art to me. And I thought, well, even if no one wants it, if I try to sell it and no one wants it, I could like lean it on a shelf as the background to a display for the spring, um, even for the fall with the yellow color. So I don't know. I just thought it was too like real. <laughs> if that makes sense, to leave behind and have it be thrown out. So you see, like you can see, like it's actually paint. 
I don't know. In my world, we're middle class folk. Most people don't have like real paintings in their houses. <laughs> it's mostly prints. So that's why that struck me. I was like, oh, that seems kind of nice. I don't know. Maybe it's nothing. Maybe someone did it at home. I have no idea. But to me, it's nice. So. Okay, and the last thing, nope, oh, there's two more things. We got these. Chris wanted to get these. We're going to use these in our house. These totally remind us of diners back east. Would you say, Chris? Definitely. Diners back east, right? Yeah. So diners in New Jersey, for all my New Jersey friends, um, you know what we're talking about. Or places so, down by the beach. Yeah, or places down at the beach where we grew up on the Jersey Shore. So that's why we got those. And then one last thing. Oh, my God. I love this so much. I really, really love this. It's huge. This thing is huge. I would say it's probably like 18 to 20 inches across. And it says Stoiky. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And it's like from the 50s, 60s maybe. And it's a guy barbecuing. I love this thing. So I'm totally, we are um, kind of not read, we're kind of um, making our garage a nicer space. Just trying to make that into like a semi usable living space not living space but you know like a, a hangout area like a three season porch because we can't use it obviously when it's like 50 degrees below zero but for like the fall we can definitely use it and so i might hang this in there because i just i think it looks like a great piece of a uh, g-rage decor <laughs> that's what we call the garage the g-rage i don't know why i had a friend who did her garage over and that's what she called it so anyway so i'm gonna hang this in my garage because i just think it's perfect to hang in a garage and that's it oh and then so that's all that i have as far as my bins haul but today so today is actually in the real world it's wednesday you're gonna see this video on thursday wednesday um i went back to that antique store because while i was watching my own video if you didn't watch the video i'll post a link here while i was watching my video and editing it i noticed that there were santa head mugs that I didn't see when I was there the first time. So I went back for them. I may or may not have found them, plus a few other things. And I kind of just want to show you the other things because I'm not going to do a whole haul because there's not that many things. But anyway, I found this. Oh my goodness, isn't he cute? My friend found a listing. It's apparently like was for, Cal it's made in Japan. I paid a dollar for it. I'm keeping it. And um, I just think it's so, 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 so cute. I'm probably going to put it in my Halloween decor. I was going to work a trade with someone, but there were some objections in my household. So I'm not going to do that. We're just going to keep him because he's cute. And then I got this. And this brings me a great deal of happiness. So I cleaned it up already and I put salt in it. This is a salt and pepper shaker, but it looks like a toaster and a slice of bread. And I have this sitting on my counter by my toaster. And all afternoon I've been smiling at it. I don't know why. I just love this. thing. <laughs> it's so cute. And it matches my toaster completely. Like my actual toaster looks exactly like this, except for the fact that my actual toaster would have like two pieces of bread. But I love this thing. And I think I paid $3 for this. This is $3.25. And then I got this. This I'm going to sell in my live sale. It is Hazel Atlas. Sorry. And okay, Jeffrey from Real Nifty Vintage would know. I don't know if you would call this milk glass or is this just like opal, whatever it's called. I don't remember. I watched a whole video about it. Now I can't remember what he would have said. But anyway, this is Hazel Atlas. And I love how it like goes from black to pink to white. I just think it's really pretty. It's a creamer. They did not have the sugar bowl, but it was 50 cents. And I was like, well, heck, I think for, you know, a few dollars, someone might want to have this. It's cool. It's Hazel Atlas. So, and it's pink and I can't keep it because I can't keep everything, but I thought someone might want to have it. So I'm going to put that in my live sale and see if anyone wants it. Okay. And that's all that I have for you today. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and checking out what I found at the Goodwill Outlet Bins. And until my next video, thanks for watching. <music>